Can I speak with the main owner of computer in your house? Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I was uh, on another call. Okay, I'm sorry. Wh who is this? This is Carlin Paul. Who's Car I'm sorry. Who is Carlin Paul? Carlin Paul, regarding about your computer, sir. Oh. What what about my computer? Hello. Hello. Yeah, hi, sir. This is Brian Martin, and I'm the senior supervisor out here. How are you doing? You're the senior supervisor where? From Microsoft Windows. Microsoft Windows. Oh, okay. Yeah. We are calling you from Microsoft Windows Service Center, and oh, I'm the senior technician, the senior supervisor, and I believe. I'm talking to the owner of the computer, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, why we are calling you? Because so from past few days, we are receiving online error and warning reports from your computer. And that online error and warning report indicates the gateway, the online security panel of your internet got corrupted. And from there, there are some hackers who are going ahead and using your computer and your computer's IP address for online cyber crime. Are you aware of that? No. How, do, how, does, uh, how does that happen? Okay, I'll tell you. Like, I believe you do browsing over the Internet, right? Uh, yeah, I have, I have done some browsing, yeah. Yes. While browsing over the Internet, by mistakenly you clicked on one of the malicious links created by the hackers to trap the normal users. So that once anybody could, will click on that, and they will get the access of the computer. So accidentally, you had clicked one of them, and the hackers had corrupted and got the access of your computer. And not only that, they are installing spyware and infections into the computer in order to crash it down after using it for illegal stuff so that nobody would get a clue who the hackers are, and they can crash your computer and pass on the blame on your head. Oh, boy. Well, what what do I need? Yeah. What am I? What, what do I need to do? Do I need to purchase some, some? No, 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 no. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. I I'm a technician. What I will do, I'll guide you with few technical steps which you need to do on the computer. With the help of that, you can able to find out where exactly those junk files and those hackers are located, and how can you go ahead and remove them, block them, so that these things will never come back into your computer again, and your computer will work safe, secure, and faster. All right. Okay. I just have a couple of questions though. Um. Because I don't, I don't know, you know, how do I know that this is really uh, Microsoft? Legitimate. Oh, okay, perfect. That's a very good question. Now, you need a proof that we are from Microsoft, right? Yeah, I, I, would, I would need to yes. know that, sure. Yes, I can, I can give it to you, prove the right at the moment. First of all, the thing is that I'm telling you how I can do that. See, every computer have a computer license security ID numbers, and that's identification numbers can only be known only two persons in this whole world. First one would be you, because you are the owner and you are having the computer with you. And second one would be only and only Microsoft Windows. So what uh, I will do, I will... Mm -hmm. Oh, so so Microsoft Windows uh, has can read my computer, they can see what I'm doing on my computer, is that what you're saying? No, 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 no. Oh. I'm saying that your computer's license security ID is registered under Microsoft. Oh. Okay, because we are the manufacturers for getting a track record of our customers. We had to put in the different identification numbers to identify our customers and the computer. All right. So that's the reason. Like, right now you are having the computer so you can get to know the ID and second one would be only and only Microsoft. So we have oh. the ID registered under, in our database and I will read out from my side. You just need to match it. I will guide you how you will find out on your screen. And I, you need to read it. I'm, I have to read out for you. I will read out for you, and you just need to match it. What the identification numbers are. If it goes correct, then only you will get the. Then you will get the proof that we are from Microsoft, and you can comfortably proceed further with the call. Otherwise, you can simply hang up the call. Okay. Okay. Well, that that sounds uh, that 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 convinced me. That sounds sensible to me. Uh, what what do you need me to do? Okay. First of all, be in front of the computer. Yeah, I'm I'm right in front of it now. Oh, what do you see on the screen? Well, I'm looking at um, a website. I'm look. I'm on Facebook. I'm, I'm uh, talking with my daughter on Facebook. Okay. Please minimize the website and go back to the normal desktop screen, 
with all the I calls so that I can help you to find out your license number. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, now leave your screen, look at your keyboard. At the extreme left hand side, bottom corner of your keyboard, do you see a TTRL, control key there? No, I see a. <clears throat> I see uh, the bottom left one is called FN, the next one is called yeah. Control, and the next one is called Option. You got a Macintosh, right? Yeah. Got it. Okay. Now you were using Facebook on Safari, right? That's correct. Okay. Open that up again. Okay. And open a new tab. Okay. And type in there www. Dot. Okay. Support. S-U-P-P-O-R-T, support. Okay. Dot. Hey, well, wait a minute. Something occurred to me. If this is Microsoft Windows, I'm not even using Windows. So how, how do you know that there's someone's hacking into my computer? Hello, sir. Hi, how are you? Can you open the Safari? Yeah, I, I'm I'm in Safari right now. Okay, then then write www.support.me. Okay, okay, I all right. Dot support. Dot me. Okay. Yeah, support. Dot me. Okay, now what do I do? Hello, sir. Yeah. Hello? Yes, hello. Yes, I can hear you. Great. Yeah. Now, what do you see on your computer screen? Well, he said to type www.support.me. That's correct. And now, now should the system it... which you are using is a Mac computer, correct? Correct. Okay. Now, as a Mac computer, the software have already been expired on your computer. We are just going to connect it by the other way. Okay, now after putting in www.support.me, just click on OK. Wait, I'm sorry, what did you say before that? What what expired? I told you, see, yeah, we are using a Mac computer. We have received the information from your IP address that many software is not working. So we are just going to connect your computer from our end, and we are going to show you that what problem you are not aware of. Oh, okay. Now, once you do that, www.support.me, just enter, I mean, just press enter. Okay, I pressed enter. Now, what comes up? Let me Oh, know. my God. There's some, there's some smoke coming out of my, out of my monitor. There, there's smoke coming out of the monitor. There's, it's catching fire. The, the whole monitor is catching fire. Oh, my God. The whole monitor is burning. 